Assalamualaikum and good day to my viewers. This is my video presentation for my final year project titled The Effects of Different Types of Sires on an Electric Motor's Power Consumption. My name is Mawak Kamali bin Yusuf Zikama. I'm currently studying for my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering at UATM. And for your information, I'm supervised by Professor Madia Dr. Ramzan Ramli. So let's start with an introduction to the topic. I will explain on why the topic was chosen and why I think it's relevant in today's society. We can divide the reasons into three categories. We'll start with the first one, which is laws and regulations regarding the automotive industry. It should come to no surprise to anyone, really. The main reason is environmental concerns. Petrol and diesel vehicles pump out more and more pollution each day. With global warming looming over us, the world saw fit to change to something a bit cleaner, and that something is electric. Electric cars to be more specific, and this has something to do with the next point, internal combustion bands. Countries like the UK and states like California are banning the internal combustion sales in the near future, as early as 2030. <clears throat> and the demise of internal combustion engines are further helped by the huge manufacturers such as Volkswagen, which will replace the entire lineup with electric vehicles by 2065. Now, electric cars are not perfect. They lack like range, for example. And if you live in Malaysia, it gets worse. The amount of charging stations are uh, few and far between, making it almost impractical for long journeys and everyday use. <clears throat> the Tesla Model S, for example, has a range of 620 km. It might sound impressive, but when we take into account the time it takes to fully charge it, which can take up to a whopping 40 hours, then it, it sounds impractical. <clears throat> So, it's clear, there's a need for an improvement. What we can do is increase the efficiency. That will allow more range between each charge and decrease the need to be constantly tied to a wall outlet. One way to do this is to decrease the rolling resistance. That's where this project comes in. Tire manufacturers will often have an eco tire lineup that they claim will reduce power consumption. But how economic is eco exactly? And this is what this project aims to find out as we compare an eco tire from Bridgestone and a normal off the shelf aftermarket tire. If the claims are true, then the eco tire should have less rolling resistance compared to the normal counterpart. Now, what is rolling resistance? It is the amount of energy that a vehicle needs to send to the tires in order to maintain movement at a consistent, at a consistent speed over a surface. Rolling resistance cannot be eliminated, but it can be reduced through methods such as weight reduction and using tires with lower rolling resistance coefficient. Next, I'll be explaining about the problem statement. What are the problems that led to the need for these projects? Well, as, well, as I explained earlier, electric cars lack range. These take a long time to recharge, and when we, when, when we want to recharge them, we can't because the infrastructure is severely lacking in Malaysia. So one way to increase the efficiency is to choose a tire with lower rolling resistance coefficient. Moving on, the objectives of of this project is first and foremost to determine the power consumption of an electric motor for different types of tire models. <clears throat> Secondly, to compare power consumption levels of two different tire models, and lastly, to design a test bench for an electric motor consumption and for an electric motor power consumption monitoring. Electric cars drivetrain is made up of electric motors. That's why this project leans heavily towards their power consumption. So, what's the outcome from this project? What do I hope to gain from it? 
from this project. I expect to be able to find a difference in the nitric motor's power consumption for different tire types, and in the process of doing so, be able to create a monitoring software that measures the power consumption based on the tire's properties. Lastly, I expect to be able to suggest ways to lower an, el an electric motor's power consumption. These are the scopes and limitations to this project. The project solely focuses on the power consumption derived from the tires. It does not concern other aspects such as aerodynamics or road conditions. There are also limits to this project. It's due to the scaled down nature of the components. The tires that we will be using are more closely related to motorcycle tires rather than the one that you'll find on your cars. And, and, and as I explained before, we only focus on the power consumption by the tires and nothing else. Continuing to the next part, the methodology for this project can be divided into four stages. The first stage is the research, where I gather information on how to correctly do the project through published research papers and online articles. Next is the design phase, where a test bench will be modeled using CAD software like SOLIDWORKS. After that comes the software programming phase. This part involves the creation of the monitoring software using LabVIEW and will be responsible for reading the voltage and current values of the, of the electric motor through the motor controller. After that comes the last part which is the analysis phase. This phase will see me analyzing the gathered information by tabulating the data and performing comparisons between the two tire models. There will be a total of 12 data samples that will be gained through experimentation with different speeds and tire types. To the right is <coughs> the flowchart for this experiment. Next, I'll be summarizing what I learned through my literature review. This part is divided into two categories. The first one, rolling resistance. Through studying many published research, I learned that rolling resistance can be determined using an experiment involving a rolling drum test bench. It is also, it is also known that rolling resistance increases with speed, as depicted in the graph in the middle. And lastly, if a rolling resistance of a tire is unknown, we can determine it using rolling resistance coefficient from another, from another tire that we already know. The next category is power consumption monitoring system. This is fairly simple as we only need to know the values of voltage and current that a machine is using in order to calculate the power consumption. It can be monitored in real time using something like the diagram to your right or by using lab view like I did in my mini experiment which I will be showing you next. This is the preliminary results. For this part, I did a mini experiment in order to test out the theories that I learned through my lit literature review. The experiment uses Arduino Uno components and lab view for the monitoring system. These are the outcomes from the mini experiment. As you can see, I used a graph to plot the real-time power consumption. From this graph, we can determine the average value for the voltage, current, and power. To the right is the block diagram which is used to program the Arduino Uno. And that is the end of my presentation. If you have any questions regarding my project, feel free to contact me at 014-239-9937 or email me at kamalmd97.ka at gmail.com. Thank you for watching my presentation and I hope you have a good day.